What's good, guys? Welcome back to Lion Mark TV Market with an exciting, delighting, and much interesting video here on the channel. So, this is actually coming from um, H.E. Peter OB, and yes, yeah, some other top big billionaires. I see that this is only billionaires who actually do not have um, any problem with without the living or the dead. You know, you know, we all heard of Mwiwe Habat Mwiwe who passed on, and yes, um, Peter OB, uh, Dangote, Alinko Dangote. Uh, our, our Pat Otomi and a lot of other Nigerians, prominent Nigerians, actually paid a visit. They visited the home and to show solidarity and pay respect. And today, the NTSB uh, team, the US authority team, are still investigating this particular issue as well. Well, I'm just going to quite uh, fastly read out what Peter will be posted on his uh, X page and as well take play the video for you guys from the STSB team, NTSB team that are making investigation on this particular video. Let's get right into it, guys. So Peter Obi said, and I read, he said, Yesterday, with a heavy heart, I paid a condolence visit to the beloved family of my very dear friend, Habat Mwige and Abimola Oguno, whose death continued to break my heart and those in the nation. He continued by saying, I express my deepest sympathies to the Mwige and Ogume family over the crucial loss, Habat and I have remained very close friends over the years, I, and I cherish the times, ideas, and moments we share. His death remains a terrible sore in my heart, especially when I consider his immense contribution to our national development and his plans to do more for the nation in the critical areas of development. He was a man who remains committed to the advancement of the nation and the progress of the people, especially the youth, as we mourn his very painful deaths. We comforted by the enduring legacy he left behind, the lives he positively touched both within and outside Nigeria. And the cherished moments of his kindness, simplicity, and love, and love for humanity, may God Almighty grant internal rest to Habat, his wife and son, to Abimbala and all those who died in the plane crash. May God comfort their families and indeed all of us who mourn and give us the fortitude to bear the sad and irreplaceable loss. This is coming from H.E. Peter Obi. And straight up, I'm just going to play you a video from the STSB team that are actually investigating the plane crash in the U.S. Please watch the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And as well, drop a comment below. You could see how billionaires come together to celebrate one of their own. Good afternoon. I am Michael Graham, a board member with the National Transportation Safety Board. I will be pro providing a brief update on the NTSB's investigation on the Friday uh, in, into Part 135 EC-130 charter helicopter that crashed on Friday south of Interstate 15 near Halloran Springs, California. The registration number for the helicopter is November 130 Charlie Zulu. As a reminder, we are on scene to gather perishable evidence. The analysis portion of the investigation occurs once all the perishable evidence has been gathered. The, the information I provide today will be preliminary. Today was the first full day uh, the NTSB, the first full day the NTSB was at the accident site. The team began today's activities with aerial drone mapping and site documentation of the wreckage. The airworthiness group began detailed examination of the debris field. The debris field was approximately 100 yards in length. All major components of the helicopter were accounted for and identified at the accident site. These include three main rotor blades, the main transmission, the engine, tail rotor, landing gear skids, and various avionics components. ADSB data, or flight track data, shows the helicopter traveling along Interstate 15, approximately 1,000 to 1,500 feet above ground level. <clears throat> Near the end of the flight track data, it shows a slight right turn turning south of the interstate. At that time, data shows a gradual descent and increasing ground speed. Flight, 
Flight track data ended about a quarter mile from the wreckage location. The wreckage site shows the helicopter impacted the terrain in a nose low and right bank angle. Various electronic devices and onboard equipment were recovered at the scene for further examination and analysis. We are coordinating the wreckage to be moved to a secure location on Tuesday for further examination and analysis. Yesterday, I mentioned that witnesses reported rain and a wintry mix. Our NTSB meteorologist, through weather radar images and data, can now support witness reports of precipitation at the time and location of the accident. Our operations group has begun gathering information to include pilot records, flight dispatch records, and aircraft maintenance records. We are working with Orbic Air to schedule interviews with key personnel. I want to thank the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department and Coroner's Office, as well as the National Park Service for their continued support. This will be the NTSB's last on-scene press briefing. The on-scene portion of the investigation will continue until complete. As a reminder, a preliminary report of the accident is expected within 30 days, and a full NTSB investigation lasts 12 to 24 months before a final report. How can an MD, who the heck is a Mefele, a Lumilu? What did he do? Where is the factory? He was a bank man, a floor bank man. Somehow got license. At the same time, we are at the Ola. All of them, stupendously wealthy now. Wigwe, who became MD of uh, Assets Bank. Eh? Immediately, uh, with the other young man left has now established a university. He has the temerity to be advertising that university on CNN, Wigwe University. That's personally established by him. Where is the money? Where is his factory? I says bank. What is the practice? They release dollars to them on a monthly basis. They use the dollars. If it's at one to hundred, they will get it the, through the mala to say one to two hundred. You see that profit. What do they do with it? Who are the commercial people that really need it and get it? Most people get back to the to the mala to buy. No, you hardly will get from the bank unless you are. Is that commercial activity? So what they had done to this nation, they must all be invited for discussion because the rottenness started from that and it's been going on for years. But it has exploded now on our faces. And what MFLA did, have you ever seen any central bank of any country Given personal loan to individuals. Are we mad? What, what, was, what was going on in his head? Commercial bank? You turn the central bank to a commercial bank. Central bank that should be irresponsible for your fiscal and monetary policies. They forgot completely. And then he had the the temerity to say, ah, I wanted to contest as uh, president because he has stolen so much money. 